Sword Chain Rune is worth considering because contrary to most altcoins, Sword Chain Rune does not have any inflation anymore. The supply isn't growing, which is healthy in a bear market where demand in aggregate isn't growing either. Here, have a look at this chart on Messari.io. The number of rune tokens isn't growing. Unfortunately though, the activity around the project isn't growing either, right? We are in a bear market. The social metrics don't do much. This is the number of active Reddit users. This is the number of Telegram users even shrinking. And the price of rune relative to Bitcoin isn't doing too well either in the last two years roughly. We are in the middle of a downward trend, not particularly cheap, not particularly expensive, and the picture doesn't look that different relative to Ethereum. Also in the middle of a trend here, not going downwards though. So the best is probably to treat ThoughtChain Rune the same way as we treat many other altcoins. We simply just want to ride those waves because holding altcoins over many, many years is hyper, hyper risky. More and more competitors enter the space, something can come up that beats ThoughtChain Rune in its story. And so I approach this by only being invested in altcoins when momentum picks up. And to determine this, I use moving averages, specifically the two ones drawn on this chart where we are currently bearish. Now, what are those two moving averages? They are somewhat odd. It's not the 50 day or the 100 day or anything like this. It's the 32 day simple moving average and the 53 day simple moving average. Now there's a reason for this. If this is not your first video on this channel, you know what the reason is. It's an analysis of the numbers. It's a back test or rather 200 back tests. So we are simulating buying and selling the rune token and try to find out depending on what moving average duration we take, what would have been the best in the past. So what moving average describes the momentum in rune the best. Now the data starts in July of 2019, it goes all the way to today and buying and holding the rune token over that time would have given us 103% every single year. So annualized. But we can see there are some simple moving averages and some exponential moving averages that beat this. For example here, the 32 day simple moving average. And if we scroll further over here, the 51 day simple moving average. We can also look at this in chart form. So on the X axis is the duration of the moving average. On the Y axis is the analyzed performance. The black line is the reference for buying and holding. We can see quite a lot of moving averages outperform just buying and holding. Almost all of the exponential moving averages above 30 days and all of the simple moving averages between 20 days and 90 days. And so the two simple moving averages that I've plotted on this chart are those two points here. So 32 and 53, right? This is where we get the best values. So this is then how that looks over time. In white, we've got the rune price and in turquoise, our backtested return, including trading fees, 0.2%. So this outperforms quite nicely in bear markets. So that's 32 day. Let's also look at 53. And that's then this chart here. So also a quiet, consistent outperformance in a bear market. We are not necessarily losing funds, right? A logarithmic scale here is a 10x from one another. A linear scale is the regular scale that you're used to. And so that's why I look at those two moving averages to determine how to write those waves in Rune. And currently, unfortunately, we are not bullish. We'd have to cross the $1.79 roughly. So that's a rally of an another 6.5% to turn bullish. Now this back test simply looks at the price at the end of the day, UTC time zone. So we're not trading within the day. We're not really concerned about the price going above and below those moving averages within the day. We simply just look at the price once a day and depending on where the price at that moment in time is relative to the moving average, are we going long? So we bet on rising prices or we are going short bet on falling prices. That's the back test, that's the simulation. Now, given that the social metrics aren't growing in this market, and given that the current relative performance to Bitcoin isn't too great, I'd really not just buy into Rune and forget. It really makes sense to ride those waves. And currently it looks rather bearish. 
I think the easier way to generate alpha, so to generate outsized performance over just buying and holding Bitcoin, is not to find this one altcoin that might recover. It's better to simply take the altcoins that have a lot of token printing and that are still underperforming massively in this bear market. Now Rune underperforms slightly, but it's not enough underperformance for me to bet on falling prices here. But there are really, really poor altcoins that are worth considering too short to bet on falling prices. And that's then the way to make money in times like this. So for example, recently we shorted the blur token. So look at the following. We look at the blur price measured in Ethereum and this is simply just going straight down, right? So you want to be betting on falling prices of assets like this that have a lot of token inflation, the team gets a lot of tokens unlocked that they can then dump on the market. You want to front run these kinds of sales and that's then how you make most money. Don't necessarily try to pick the one or two altcoin winners that might still be around in the next pot potential bull market right maybe that's one two three years out from now we don't even know and it's very, very likely that whatever altcoin you currently pick be it thought chain rune or anything else might not do as well as you hope so look at those relative valuations and then do whatever you think is best in a bull market it makes sense to spray and pray and buy a lot of altcoins and simply hope to get the home run in a bear market i think it's better to simply buy a lot of shorts to bet on a lot of altcoins underperforming because that's what the majority of altcoins do you don't want to necessarily pick the needle in the haystack you want to bet on the haystack doing what the haystack does and so there's the premium membership where I share my current trades. Feel free to check that out. But there's also a free telegram link is down below.